as you all know, there is now some video footage of the monolith being torn down, and I have some opinions about this entire situation that are probably going to piss some people off, but I really just don't care anymore. So let's have a little chat, but first, here's the video footage of it coming down. So there you have it. It's been torn down and there's video footage of it going down. Now, I've been having a lot of questions about when I was there, what did I see, all of that kind of stuff. So let me just lay out a little short, quick timeline as to how everything played out from my point of view. Terrence and I left my truck just before 4 p.m. and started walking our way back to the monolith because we were hoping for um, people to clear out as the sun went down and temperatures got a little bit colder, which totally turned out to be the case, okay? As soon as it was starting to approach uh, sunset, people were leaving and we had the monolith to ourselves for quite a bit of time taking photos and uh, it was a really great time. I think we got some pretty cool photos and yeah, were we the very last people to photograph it now? Apparently not. Gee whiz, what a bummer. Okay, but um, in that time that we were there, a guy by the name of Tim and some of his friends, I didn't get their names, uh, who drove down from Logan, Utah, showed up, and these were really nice people. They hung out with us for a bit as we did these long exposures. They even provided the laser uh, that you see that has that green beam coming out of the top of it. You know, they were really fun to be around and just good people. If I ran into them again, I'd totally... I'd be, I'd be cool with it. I'd hang out with these people, good people. So it was just like at or before 7 p.m. that Terrence and I decided it was time to head back. We originally planned to kind of camp out there, um, but we got the photos we wanted and was ready to go. So we were making our way out of the canyon and we saw some people coming down the hillside who I now know to be Ross and his friends, okay? Um, and I had yelled back to Tim and his group, hey, you've got company, letting them know because they were trying to take a photo for a Christmas card, um, lighting it up with Christmas lights, that, hey, some people are showing up, get your photos because there's going to be some company. And so apparently Ross and his friends and Terrence and I, we kind of passed each other. They were coming in and we were leaving. We got back to the truck and wheels were rolling at it exactly exactly 7.30 after looking at my Gaia maps. Um, and we made our way back out to the road, okay? Which you should all know is that the road out to the monolith was the Lockhart Road, okay? This isn't just people tromping through the desert just to do it. This is, call it a forest road, and it's pretty well traversed, all right? And uh, we got back out to the, out to the, out off the road at about 8.00, 10, 8, 12 ish, if I remember right, because I was wondering what kind of time I was making, and um, I'm just weird about that kind of stuff. I just pay attention to that kind of thing. Now, in that time that we were gone and we were driving back, we did see some vehicles coming in, which now seems to be, is it Sylvan? I think that's his name. I'm not going to, I'm not, in, if I'm pronouncing it wrong, it's not intentional. It's not like a jab at the guy. Um, but we saw who I would assume now to be them heading in to be able to take down the monolith. Now, Ross was there. He saw Tim and, and those same people, those are the people that he's describing have, having left. He stayed there for a while, took some photos, took that amazing photo that he got of the drone beaming up uh, and, and giving him that awesome image. Great shot, by the way. Um, and that is when uh, Sylvan and his bro chachos showed up and decided that they were gonna take it upon themselves to take down the monolith. That's the timeline. That's from what I can deduce. That is exactly how it played out. Okay. But let's make it clear. I wasn't there and neither was Terrence when it was actually being taken down. We had just missed him, which is interesting because we, we don't know how everything would have played out had we stayed a little bit longer because the truth is 
if I was there seeing it being taken down, I don't know that I would have felt okay about that. In my opinion, it wasn't their decision to make to take it down. But we'll get to that in a second. Something I want to talk about is just some of the commentary and things that I'm seeing on social media about the whole situation. And some of it I think is just um, untrue and some of it I think is just highly hypocritical. Okay. When I was out there and I was out there from 1 p.m. to 7.30 when we drove away, I can tell you that we did not see any crypto soil there. We didn't. Doesn't mean that there wasn't any in the surrounding areas, but from our experience, we didn't see any of it. Nothing. Okay. So the whole crypto soil argument to me is like, I get it. We have to pay, we have to take care of it. Okay. Don't break the crust. I, I get it. And I firmly stand behind that, but I didn't see that out there. Okay. Now in my first video, I also made mention that I wasn't exactly happy with some of the things that I was seeing. And I want to make that very clear as to what it was that I saw in the things that I didn't. Okay. I saw some people jumping all over the monolith. I saw people like running up and trying to get on it. And my main concern was, well, for the monolith, because I thought the monolith was pretty cool. I did think it was a work of art. And I didn't want it to get damaged so that other people can go out there and enjoy it uh, just like I did, right? Um, I also did see, like I said in my first video, some kids had put smiley faces in the canyon wall, which to me is completely unacceptable, should not have happened. But here's the things that I did not see, okay? I didn't see people just running rampant in their vehicles, just driving off of the trail, driving off of the road and just tromping everywhere they wanted to go. I didn't see any of that. I want to make that clear. Okay. The other thing I didn't see is I didn't see trash out there. I didn't see trash spewed around all over the place. I, I didn't see any of that. And if I did, I would tell you, but sorry, I just, I can't, I can't support that commentary. That's not something I saw. Okay. Now, the whole premise that, and I'm seeing things that, uh, you know, get that trash out of there. Um, I think there's a pretty clear distinction between trash and what this monolith was. This monolith to me was not trash. Give me a break. Okay. This wasn't a granola bar wrapper. This wasn't a beer can. Okay. This is a very well executed art installation that was placed in the middle of the Utah desert. Okay. And I have to say it was done well. It was done in good taste at least its construction and the way that it was put in there. And I honestly thought it added to that little, little canyon pocket. I think it made for an amazing experience. I think it made, uh, I, th I thought the whole thing and its surroundings were actually beautiful. I liked it. And I understand that a lot of people don't. And that's okay. And while I personally would have rather see, have, have seen it stay, I also completely understand the flip side of it. And I talked about it in my first video about, hey, if it stays, you're opening up a whole can of worms, setting a new precedent for that kind of behavior. And I get it. I absolutely get it. But to call it trash and to turn it into this, this littering type of thing, just to me is a, is a little bit crazy. Now, I'm also seeing a lot of things on social media talking about, you know, and this is coming from people that have posted photos of this, basically, you know, just denouncing and casting shade towards anybody who went out there and took photos of it and did that kind of thing. Um, and I just think that is one of the most do as I say, not as I do hypocritical bullshit I have heard in a while. Okay. I'm going to just say it. That is just ridiculous. Here's my stance on that, okay? I did go out there to take photos of it. I did go out there and I got video of it. And you wanna know something? There was nothing wrong in doing so. There was nothing wrong in, in you know, being curious and wanting to go see it and document it. There's nothing wrong in that. And there was nothing wrong with the people that, that showed up to go take a look at it. They were doing nothing wrong. Their intentions, 
they're, you know, they're, they're intent to go look at it and, and fuel their curiosity is not something that should have been discouraged. That's not something that was wrong in principle. Okay. Now, do I agree that some of these people needed to be educated on how to, to leave no trace or how to, to minimize their impact while they were out there? Yeah, of course. But that's also a teaching moment. That's a moment that you have to inform these people, right? And, and to help these people grow. Just remember, you were a beginner at anything and everything you've ever done. And how would you feel if people were just treating you like shit? Simply because you were curious and wanted to take a look at it. Educate people. Help them understand. But don't demonize these people and, and cast shade on them. Especially if you're somebody that went out there and took photos of it. Especially if you're somebody that went out there, okay, and are getting notoriety from your photos. Somebody like myself. I could never sit back and, 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 and feel that way or say that. I went out there and took photos, you know, but you all shouldn't. I have the experience, but you all shouldn't. Give me a break. I'm not going to stand for that kind of commentary. I think it's ridiculous and I think it's completely out of line. Okay? And if you really do believe that, then go ahead and delete your photos. Delete all of it. But I bet nobody will. Now... When it comes to the people that took it down, Sylvan and his friends, here's my stance on it. I don't believe that it was in their authority to do so. I don't think it was their right for a group of four dudes to just take it upon themselves, okay, and make a decision for millions of people on their own behalf. I don't think that was right. Now, do I understand that it probably wasn't gonna stay? Yes, I've said that repeatedly, but what, what made them the ones that got to do it? Come on now. And I, I'm, I'm, I, I wonder how it would have played out because I would have tried to stop them. Had I stayed another hour later, I would have tried to stop them from taking it down. And if I couldn't stop them or convince them not to, then I would have documented it heavily. I was armed with a Sony a7R4, plenty of lights. Trust me, I would have got video of it. And I also would have got some pretty high quality images of the whole thing and documented it a lot further. I would, I, I just, it's who I am. It, it would have been in my nature to do so. And that's just, that's just how it would have played out for me. But I also wonder, like, would it have turned, would they have been like combative? Would it turned into some kind of like argument out there in the middle of the desert? Or even worse, could it have turned into some kind of scuffle over, over, over something like this? I don't know. And we'll never know. I would absolutely hope not, because that's just not something I'd be interested in. But I also want to talk about the motives of them taking down the monolith. Okay? I, I don't think, I, I think there's a lot more to this than just leave no trace. Okay? I think these are some micro influencers that saw an opportunity, okay, and glory hound the shit out of it. They went out there and trust me, they made sure to record some video of it because guess what? It's not real unless you share it on the gram or TikTok, right? They made sure that they could say, hey, we did this. We did this. We took it down. Look at us, okay? It's crap. Total crap. If you think that their only motive was was leave no trace, then I'm sorry, but don't be fooled. They did this on purpose to draw eyes to them and attention to themselves, okay? It's just kind of stupid. If anything, to me, it was one of the most, like, prolific examples of virtue signaling I have seen in years. Look at us. We're such good people. We took it down. Yay. Cool. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Was it probably going to get taken down at some point? Probably. Could there have been an exception somehow to leave it up there and also make clear rules going forward? Possibly. We'll never know. Okay. Could they have added maybe a small little parking area out there to, uh, to allow people to, to park? Why not? There's bathroom installations out there. There's campgrounds all around the area. I don't see why they couldn't. I mean, there were already two bulldozers out there. It doesn't seem too far-fetched to think that they could have done it while making a minimal impact. But hey, we'll never know. 
And so that's it. I'm done talking about it. I don't really want to answer any more questions in my DMs about it. I'm ready to move on. And I'm going to leave it at that. So with that, I'm going to just say, sorry, not sorry. I'm out. <laughs>